Hey there, it is Christmas Eve. I'm Jack. Um, about to go to my parents' house, but first I just wanted to leave a, a nice video with a little story about Christmas. So, the story begins with the three wise men. They are just outside the city of Bethlehem, maybe three days away, in a, in a, small, in a kind of small town, three days outside of Bethlehem. But they're stopped because they see something weird. There's this guy with a big fire going. They think that's weird because A, it's the middle of the day, and B, they're in the desert. So, so they decide to approach this man, and they talk to him and ask him, what is with the fire? The man tells them his name is Franklin, and kind of launches into his story. Uh, basically what he says is that in his younger days, really only about a year ago, he was kind of the town prankster. He would just pull little harmless pranks on people. He pulled pranks on basically everyone in the town, except for one person, the temple leader. And one day one of his friends was like, I bet you, you can't pull off a prank on the temple leader. And Franklin was like, I bet you I can. So he did. He sat up on uh, top of a roof that he knew the temple leader would be walking by uh, during the day and poured a bucket of ice cold water on him while Franklin was up on the roof laughing. The holy man was praying and, and as Franklin stopped laughing and started listening to the temple leader, he realized that the temple leader was praying for him. At that night he went home, went to bed, and in a dream was visited by an angel. The angel told him that the holy man had prayed and said that he wished that Franklin would see the error of his ways, and so now God was making Franklin as cold as he had made the holy man. So when Franklin woke up in the next morning, he was just cold all over, and nothing could really make him warm, and it was just miserable. So basically Franklin explained that now he burns everything and stands by a fire day and night, covers himself up with bundles of blankets just to kind of at least think he maybe feels warm, but he never really does. Upon hearing the story, the wise men took pity upon Franklin because they knew he wasn't a bad person. He just pulled a couple of pranks and he did seem truly sorry for what he had done. So they told them that they were on their way to see the newborn baby Jesus and that perhaps if he wanted to come along he could ask the Son of God for his father's forgiveness. And Franklin said, I'd love to but I cannot leave this fire. It is the only thing that keeps me kind of comfortable. And so the three wise men thought about it and said, well what about sending a gift? We've got a couple of gifts and uh, we'll tell him your story and perhaps in hearing it he will pray to his father and, and ask him to remove this curse from you. Franklin thought about it for a second, and he pulled and reached into a satchel next to him and pulled out this beautiful golden mirror, just just golden and, and a bunch of like diamonds and, and jewels and everything just in the in the mirror, um, in the handle, and said, "This is the, all I have." And it's my it was my aunt's mirror. I'd love to give it to him, but I was going to go sell it tomorrow so I could buy some more firewood and possibly take some of the money to the temple and give it as an offering to God so maybe he would take this curse away. And the wise men said, well, if you give it directly to Jesus, maybe God will see that and take pity on you and remove the curse. So Franklin thinks about it and goes, you know, whatever I can try to do, I will do. So here, have the mirror, take it to the newborn babe, and see if you can cure me of this curse. The, the wise men take it, they give him some of their gold that was meant for Jesus, but they, they thought they could spare a little bit so he could buy some more wood to, to keep him warm until they got to Bethlehem. So they left Franklin and, and hurried, hurried to Bethlehem. So they made the three day journey in about a day and a half. They got to the manger where Jesus was, and they, they kneeled down before him. They turned to Mary and Joseph and said, we have some gifts for the babe and if it is okay we would like to shower him with them. And, Mary said that was fine, and Joseph nodded his head, and the, one of the wise men pulled out the mirror, brought it to where the baby was laying, and go, said, Jesus, we, the three wise men, bring you the gift of Cold Franklin's aunt's hand mirror.
And that is what I call a pum pun. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays.